Hey everybody, it's Jeff from Showit here, and today we are going to look at another integration from Power.io. These are going to be form integrations, which give you a lot of different flexibility. In this case, we're going to look at some of their payment options and some of the other integrations that using a form from Power.io will give you. So if you haven't already, you want to make sure that you have signed up and have a Power account here, because that will be the first step. So here I am in my Power dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and choose Create New App here, and we're going to get started. So in this case, we just want to search forms and choose the form builder option. Now, once the form builder loads up, you're going to have a bunch of prefabricated options over here, which is really great. So if you are already looking for the form to do something specifically, whether it's a contact form, mailing list, order form, all these options over here, you can start with something that's going to have more of that functionality already integrated, or you can start with a blank form and create it yourself. I'm just going to stick with the basic form for now. We're going to look through some different options, show you how to embed it as well so that you know what the options are for your needs. So once I've chosen the form type that I want, I can choose continue with template or simply click over to the form tab here. So now I can give it a title and description. I can change the way my button looks, the text, all that good stuff. And you can add different elements here. So if you wanted um, a first and last name, or if you wanted a phone number or whatever you might need, you can add those elements, you can rearrange them, move them up or down quite easily here within the form builder. So once you've got all the fields that you need on your form, you can go ahead and move on to the next portion, which is going to be our settings here. So you've got a bunch of different options in here. You can set up notifications so that you get an email when a form is filled out. You can also set up an autoresponder to respond to anything that comes in through that form. You have some different options here for after submission. So here you can show a success screen, redirect to another page. Um, all that kind of stuff. So redirecting to another page is a really great option. If you just create a general thank you, your message has been received page and show it, you can redirect over to that page. And from there, re-engage your visitors to connect with you on social media, continue reading your blog, whatever you might want them to do once they've submitted that form. Next, you'll see that there's a bunch of different integrations. And this is really where things are awesome with power.io. So you have all kinds of different integrations. If you're using MailChimp, if you want to load data into Google Sheets, if you want to add captchas so that no bots are filling out the forms. Um, you also have Zapier integration here, which is huge because almost any other platform you might be using typically is going to connect with Zapier in some way. So if you want this form to trigger some action in your CRM or in some other service platform that you're using with your business, you can probably connect it here. You also get some text message options here so you can get a text notification when your form is filled out. So once you've dialed in all of those settings, gotten everything connected that you want, set up all of your settings for how things notify you, how the form behaves once it's submitted, you can move on to this payment tab. So this is where it gets really, really cool. If you want to take payment through a form, you can do that right here with Power's form. So you'll have to toggle on require payment. And then if you've seen our PayPal button video from Power, it's all going to look pretty similar. But here you're going to want to connect your PayPal account. You can dial in product details, your tax, your shipping, discount codes, all that good stuff. And you can even enable invoices for your customers there. So once you've got all that linked up, if you need payment options on your form, you can move over to the design tab and finalize this. Last but not least, we have our design tab. So from here, you're going to be able to dial things in. You can select a prefabricated theme up here if one of these fits your needs, or you can use all of these individual styling options in order to create your form. One good rule of thumb to understand is that anytime you're embedding a form, all of the features of the form itself will be controlled by the platform it's coming from. So in this case, Power is going to control how these fields look, what text type it is, what text color it is, the way the button looks, all of that is going to be defined here in Power. So you'll make sure to dial that in before you embed it over and show it. Another good rule of thumb is depending on what design you have in your show it site, you'll probably want to keep a transparent background and make this form as minimal as possible. For instance, I might even want to take off this heading here and just have my form fields and my button so that I can style around this form on the show it canvas with show it styling elements. One last thing, they have this great display on click option here. This is going to give you kind of a pop up functionality. However, with show it sometimes this code can interfere. So it's always best practice to use an inline form style that doesn't have any pop up functionality built into the code. 
And then if you need to create a pop-up, you can visit our help doc library and search pop-up to see exactly how to create a canvas in show it that will pop up for you that has that form on it. So once I've gotten everything dialed in on my form and I have it exactly how I want it, I can click publish either down below here or up in this top corner. Once I publish, again, I can choose the install on platform option or the embed code option, either works. I've already chosen platform and I've chosen my platform as show it, so it's giving me that here. But again, if I chose embed code, I'm gonna get the same type of code here so I can copy that right out and then jump over to show it. So I've set up this blank canvas here and once I'm in show it, I'll just wanna choose the canvas that I want to add the form to hover over our bottom middle icon here and choose the embed code option. Now that we have the embed code widget added, we'll go to embed info, click on custom code, click in here and paste that code right in. Once we do that, you'll see that our form is going to load up here inside of this widget. We can resize it accordingly. We wanna make sure that everything is showing on our form, that we've got it spaced correctly there. And then you're going to see this little edit form builder here in the back end and when you preview, since you are the owner and generator of this form. However, you can always test your site in an incognito Chrome window to see it how a viewer will see it. And this edit option will not be there. So we'll preview this real quick. And this is how simple it really is. We've got our form added right here with these different options, drop down menus, check boxes, all kinds of things that you can do here with a power form that you can't currently do with a native show it contact form. So this is a really great option for you. It opens up a lot of connectivity and integrations, payment options, all kinds of things. So if you're looking for a great form option, check out power.io for their forms and the many other widgets they have that integrate beautifully with your show it site. I hope this video has helped you better understand your options as you're looking for different tools to help you run your business best. Until next time, happy designing.